Hello everyone, Dervil Clark here and you're all very welcome to this live stream and please if you haven't done so already you can click on notifications so that you're notified of when I go live and share this with your friends. So today I'm going to talk about the colour of today and the colour of today is yellow. And I have my yellow here. This is a very vibrant yellow. You can't miss it. But yellow is linked to self-confidence, self-esteem, your inner power. It can also be linked to um, fear showing up in your body. So it's important to release those fears, to let them go and to really feel confident in every single cell of your body. So if you're watching the replay, I would love for you to comment. Um, I'm just going intuitively with these live streams. And what I'll do is I'll just bring in the color yellow into your energy system to support you today. Now, yellow is also the color of December coming up tomorrow. So it's the final countdown to 2017. So I suggest that, you know, in the next month, this year is a nine vibration year and it's all about letting go. It's been quite emotional for lots of people. It's been a tough year in many ways for lots of people. And, um, but the good thing is that, you know, when we let go of, situations, people, ways of being, habits that no longer serve us. It opens up space for higher vibrational energy to come in to us and to help us to realize our dreams, basically. Does that happen overnight? No, not my experience. You see, any of those so-called overnight successes, they've been, they've been working on themselves behind the scenes for quite some time. So, why is it important to feel confident in yourself? Well, having confidence enables us to feel more joyful. You look at the yellow color, it's really vibrant. It's a high vibrational color. It's joy is one of the highest vibrations up on the emotional scale and very much linked to when we're feeling joy, when we're feeling happiness and contentment we attract higher vibrational situations, people, money, jobs, business, clients to us. Now, I'm not saying that we feel happy, clappy, joyful 24 hours a day. We're human, so it's human for us to go into different states at different times. And the best indicator and barometer of our truth is our bodies. So I really suggest that you start to become more in tune with how your body feels in any given moment. Because he or she will guide you as to what's going on. I suggest that you take time to slow down. So many people are go, go, go the whole time. You know, that going is all masculine energy. Yes, we need it, but we also need the softer feminine energy of slowing down, of going into stillness and silence to really tune into our heart and soul as to what's right for us. Doesn't matter what other people think around us. Ultimately, you have a soul purpose in this life. And I suggest that you start tuning into your heart more come out of your head into your body and into your heart and that's really what I'm teaching people is to um, get into your heart space your heart space is super powerful and can help you to manifest your desires so yellow what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to sit quietly put your feet on the ground and yeah, what I'm going to do is actually a very quick grounding first before I bring in the yellow. I just feel intuitively that I need to do it. And again, grounding is very much part of uh, my daily habit for myself. And I also recommend, it's a non-negotiable, uh, they're the words I use for my clients. 
and I am going to do an online program in the new year, Empowering Change Intuitively, where I will teach you very simple ways in which you can ground yourself on a daily basis because it's important for us to be in our bodies so that we can be connected to the earth, connected with our physical bodies so that we can manifest our physical desires and um, also bring us to a better space where we can connect um, to universe, source, whatever you may like to call it. So you can check out that link that I put on the top of this live stream when I'm finished and if you're interested you can contact me and we'll have a chat about the program. So just put your feet firmly on the ground and I want you to just take a deep breath in. Blowing it all the way out, letting go tension that you're holding on to. And just take another deep breath in. Letting go of tension, tightness in your body. And one last time, and you can place your hands on your heart as you do this. Just take a deep breath in. Letting it all go, allowing your shoulders to soften giving your body permission to relax. And just pre keep your feet on the ground now. And just I want you to imagine that your feet are being pulled into the earth. And that you're standing on a bed of fresh green grass, connecting to nature, feeling that connection to earth. And imagine that your feet are being pulled down several inches into the earth, connecting with your own earth star. Now this earth star is like a chakra. It's the space that only you can take up on this earth. So just take a look and see just that space look a bit musty, a bit cloudy, dusty. Is there old residual residue of energy there that needs to be released. If you're sensing that, if you can't see it, just sense it. Just bring in a beautiful crystal light, a pure white light to actually lift and lighten that energy that's there. And just imagine it clearing it away, lifting and lightening that energy. And just now I want you to imagine that there are roots coming from your feet. And I see we have one live viewer. If you're going to stay, just let me know who you are. I'm just doing a grounding meditation here. You can watch the replay later on to get it from the beginning. I would love for you to interact with me um, because then I can tune in and help you clear some energy. So just imagine roots coming from your feet, going down deep into the ground. What I want you to do now is imagine that there's red energy coming up through those feet, red energy to help you to stay grounded, to feel safe, to feel secure, to feel energized. Red is about energizing. Re-energizing those cells in your body. So allow that energy to come up through the soles of your feet, into your ankles, your legs, your knees, your hips. If there's stiffness in your hips, just tune into that. Because sometimes we can get stuck in fear of moving forward feeling that it's not safe to move forward in whatever direction that we may want to, but may feel resistance within ourselves and from others around us. So just, I'm intuitively been drawn to hips. So maybe there's someone watching this now that there's a bit of stuck energy you're holding onto in your hips. And just bring that red energy and imagine it going to every cell of your body into your bones, 
into your organs, the fluid, the tissues of your body, grounding you on a deep level and bring that energy all the way up your body, into your stomach, up into your chest. If you do have con any condition with heart, um, just bring in maybe cooling blue um, or violet colour there into the heart. Blue to keep it calm. So if not, just allow that red energy to move through every cell of your body, going all the way up your spine, energising your spine, going into each and every vertebrae, moving out into the bones, all the way into the muscles of your body. Our muscles can hold so much tension, and particularly if we're sitting at desks or we're doing jobs that are repetitive, we may sit quite a lot. So it's important to allow those muscles to take in that energy. And if you even feel, I just feel like I need to move my shoulders for some reason, so just allow it to move. Bringing that energy down into your hands. Your arms and your hands are also linked to your base chakra. So allow that red energy move down into your hands, into your fingertips. Bringing that energy up into your neck, your head, your face, filling you with energy. And imagine that red energy pulsating out around your body in your energy field, grounding you, keeping you safe, keeping you secure, keeping you connected to the earth. It's hugely, hugely important that we ground ourselves every day. And particularly if you're a sensitive being or if you're highly sensitive or uber sensitive like me, when we go out into the world, we can pick up on other people's energies and we can absorb them without even realizing. So working on our energy, clearing our energy, grounding our energy is non-negotiable. It's like putting on clothes every day. We need to work with our energy system every single day. So now that you're feeling more grounded, I'm going to work on today's colour and today is the start of um, start of the, yellow, the last day of November is associated with yellow, this colour linked to confidence and self-belief. Yes, it can also indicate when you're holding on to fears, but for today I'm going to focus on bringing in that confidence and self-belief into your body. It's really one thing that I'm passionate about helping people with because we can hold ourselves back so much when we don't feel confident in ourselves. And ultimately, you know, success is an inside job, happiness is an inside job, it starts with us. And by us working on ourselves, the ripple effects are amazing because we're all connected energetically, whether we like to think we are or not. So now what I want you to do is I want you to focus on your solar plexus. And your solar plexus is, the area from your belly button up to under your rib cage. I want you just to check into that area of your body. And if you're live watching, you can maybe just let me know where you're holding any lack of self-confidence. You know, is, is, do you feel, on a scale of naught to 10 actually, just ask yourself on a scale of naught to 10, how confident am I feeling right now? Now, we can be confident in one area of our life, but there may be other areas of our lives that we may not feel so confident in. So just check in and see what answer you get. And if you do want to share with me, just put it in the comment below and then it just gives me um, more clarity as to where to go with the energy. So just tune into your body on a scale of naught to 10. How confident are you feeling right now? I really tune in. You know, can you stand tall? Can you express yourself confidently? Can you speak your truth confidently? Or is there an aspect of you maybe in your working life, maybe in your relationships? You know, maybe you've a dream that you want to do something or go somewhere, but you don't have the confidence to share it with um, those closest to you for fear they might think you're crazy or laugh at you or whatever. You know, we're, we're in so many ways, we're simple beings, but we can be so complex in other ways. So tune into your body. And what I want you to do now is just close your eyes as you're doing this. And tune into that 
that, that center in your body that houses your self-confidence, that houses your inner power. And by power, I don't mean arrogant power and being aggressive. I mean being standing in your power and stepping into it. But really, you know, I've learned this recently. It's about owning that power. It's about owning it unapologetically. And, you know, by us being confident, don't underestimate how you being confident, how it inspires other people maybe to change their lives in simple ways. How the ripple effect of that can be so empowering for other people. So what I want you to do is notice, are there any dark areas in that area? What are you seeing? You may see images, you may see musty, murky areas in that in area. That energy center of your body and if you do don't judge it has been wrong it's perfectly okay because energy changes everything is energy and we're influenced by so by our environment by our beliefs by our thoughts our feelings by in so many different ways so now what i want you to do is i want you to imagine this beautiful vibrant color energy it would remind you of the high-vis jackets that people wear on the road so it is about you know being confident being visible so i'll actually just put this around my neck so that you can see it easier make it easier for you to see and um i tell you me doing this on live stream just shows you how my confidence levels have increased i would not have done this without energy work so there you go so i want you to imagine this yellow energy now I want you to imagine it. Um, it may come into your body differently, but what I'm being guided to do is it's almost like it's it's um, this vortex, this swirling energy coming in, coming in quite fast actually, into your solar plexus, allowing it to move around that area, going deep into every single cell of that part of your body, right the way down, out through your back, out through the layers of your skin, into your organs, your stomach, the blood, the tissue, all of the many different layers of your body that are there into a deep cellular level. And don't underestimate the power of color because this color has a vibration unique on its own and yellow is linked with confidence. So who doesn't want to be more confident? It can bring clarity, confidence, joy. Uh, you know, it, it can bring, generate happiness in your body. And we, what we want you to do is to move forward with confidence. And I'll do a quick affirmation at the end. So bring this confidence into that part of your body and allow it to move around. It may just let it move at the pace for you. What I want you to do is make sure that it's fully seat, that any other color that you're seeing in your body in that area right now when we move it throughout the body that it's replaced by this high vibrational yellow color that any darkness any stuck energy that's there is starting to release and it's been lifted vibrationally by this yellow so allow that to move into that part of your body and now what i want you to do is i want you to imagine that yellow energy moving down into your lower tummy into your hips, your legs, your knees, your feet, standing confident in your energy, standing confident in your power, unapologetically, but doing it in a, you know, in, a, in an authentic way for you. Because we all have our own unique soul print here. There's none of us, there's no other person on earth like you. So if you're criticizing yourself, just stop it and start focusing on all of your strengths and amazing gifts that you've been given. So bring that yellow energy deep into every single cell of your body, all the way up through your stomach, through your solar plexus again, allowing it to vibrate outside of your body, bringing it all the way up into your chest, your heart, send that into your heart to bring in joy, fun, laughter, and remember that all of this, these are all our high vibrations and if you have a vision, if you have a dream, whether you do or you don't have a vision board done up right now, remember that the universe hears our vibration. So when we're vibrating on a higher level, 
that brings in higher vibrational people to support us. It brings in so many different um, opportunities for us in ways that we would never have imagined. So let's get out of our heads and into our body now. Bringing this energy all the way up through your throat, through your face, smile with this vibrant yellow energy. Bring it into your face, your skin, your eyes so that you can see the universe through joy into your ears that you can hear joyful words, your mouth so that you can speak joyful, confident words, into your scalp, your hair. And imagine that you're just this beacon of vibrating yellow energy and that you're feeling lighter and that you're feeling more confident, more joyful in yourself. And I would love whoever is watching just to let me know how are you getting on with this? If you don't want to put a comment below, private message me afterwards. Just let me know because I'm here to support people and I, I really would appreciate feedback as to how um, you get on with this. If stuff comes up for you and there's resistance, that's okay. That just means there's more work to do and that's perfectly okay. But sit with this and watch the replay again if you need to and give yourself that confidence booster this is the colour for December. We're going into December. That's the last month of the year. So we want to release those fears. I'll be doing more on that in live streams. So stay tuned, subscribe to me, share this if you wish. And we'll be releasing more fears, getting you ready to move into 2017, which is a red vibration year, which is all about having, uh, it's all about red. It's about action. It's about, um, moving forward, taking action. It's about passion. It's about having our physical needs met. So um, it, it's, it's, it's a different vibration to the last year. It's all about new beginnings, new possibilities. So the more we release in 2016, we're on a better vibrational energy then to attract what we desire in 2017. So now what I want to do is just, I'm going to take this just and move it. And I, what I want you to do is I want you to just tap on your collarbone point here. With yellow, I, I choose to feel confident. With the yellow vibration, I choose to feel confident. With the yellow vibration, I move forward with confidence, with ease, with joy, with grace. I choose to feel confident. I choose to stand in my inner power. I choose to own my inner confidence. I choose to be unapologetic for feeling confident. I choose to inspire others with my confidence. I choose to commit to letting go of my fears and to feeling more confident day by day. It's my birthright to feel confident. I deserve to feel confident. I move forward with joy, with ease, with clarity, with confidence. I choose to get excited and bring in this joyful yellow energy. So just take a deep breath in, blow it all the way out. So that's just a very simple way that we can clear energy. Obviously, when I'm working with people on a one-to-one, -one, I go in to the root causes of, of lack of confidence and self-esteem. There can be, can be many aspects. So if you want to um, find out more about how you can work with me, just email me at derville at yahoo.co.uk or private message me and we can set up a time to chat. So if you've liked this live stream, please do let me know how it has supported you. Um, send me a message. I would love your feedback and share this. I plan on coming in more in the month of December to help you to release what you want to let go of. So send me a message. You know, what fears are would you like to let go of? Um, obviously what I'm doing is quite global here, but don't has to underestimate the power of how this can really transform uh, your energy. And commit to looking after yourself energetically on a daily basis because if we keep suppressing our energy, it leads to 
depression and illness and disease and we don't want that and it's very important coming into 2017 to work on our physical health as well because red is all about physical health it's about having our physical needs met about staying grounded so it's important for us to stay grounded so that we can attract what we want in our lives and i will be covering grounding on my online program which is starting in the new year january i don't have a full date or a, a date fully set for it yet but um, grounding, so many ways I can teach you grounding, simple ways that you can use on a daily basis because we need to come back into our bodies. So, much of, so many of us are out there, we're living in our head and we're actually disconnected from our bodies. The magic happens when we're fully in our body, we're fully grounded, we're confident, we're owning our power and we're living the joyful life that we're meant to live and we deserve to live. So that's it from me. Take care. If you want support in a particular topic, let me know. Post it in the comments below and I'll be back in. I hope to be doing much more live streams from now on. And uh, it will be lovely for you to interact with me and get the conversation and the energy moving because then I can help you more specifically. So that's it. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon.